Hey what's up guys I just wanted to make a quick video about syncing your Maya grid to the Unreal 4 grid um, because it took me a, a, a little bit to get used to the difference between uh, Unreal Engine 3 or UDK uh, using powers of 2 which was uh, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 um, as far as the grid spaces in Unreal Engine 4, they've kind of changed it to the, the snap sizes are 1, 5, 10, 50, 100, 500, and so on. So, if you still have your Maya grid synced up to a power of 2 uh, from Unreal Engine 3, uh, you probably need to make some adjustments so everything matches up relatively perfect, or at least makes it easier especially for things like this exit sign which is right against the wall as you can see the edge is right here against the wall and it ends right at this grid line here um, and I, I didn't uh, I didn't change the scale size at all all I did was just bring it in and uh, it was it was ready to go um, I'm in preview mode but as you can see I'll, I'll bring this one up and get this light out of the way and it's exactly the same size um, so how do we do this well you go into Maya uh, and just a, a quick uh, another thing to show you is this grid is exactly the right size for this uh, or the mesh is completely aligned to this grid it's the end of it is right at, at the end of this grid line and right at the end of this grid line and so you, all you have to do is export and then put it in Unreal and it's already synced up ready to go you don't have to scale it um, so you want to go to your display your grid option box and this is just my personal preference my subdivisions I always keep it 10 and I change the length and width and the grid lines every so so many units depending on the mesh that I'm making. Subdivisions I always keep at 10 but the length and width and grid lines every that's what I'll change depending on how big the mesh is supposed to be. So in Unreal 4 their character model for the third person at least is 296 units tall um, which I just say okay it's just 300. So if you wanted to make like a trash can since trash cans in in real life or at least average trash cans they come to just about the waist which the waist is just about half of an, an average human body so you would take 300 divided by 2 that's 150 so you would probably make your your length and width and grid lines every you would make it 150 that way you can use your entire grid space you can sync it up and zero you know the mesh out and you'd be set and ready to go um, and then once you're done you know you could um, well actually to your your mesh for the trash can anyway uh, your which I would assume you would probably use a cylinder uh, your cylinder would be a radius of probably just about 30 units and then your height would be 150 anywhere between probably 140 and 160 units tall if you were doing uh, probably just a regular trash can um, and just for an example too this grid setting I have at 25 was made for this exit sign and since 25 is like what 1 16th of 300 um, I used or no it would be 1 1 12th uh, I guess um, so 25 units would probably be from about the foot to the mid shin and that is why I made this exit sign that tall. They're not typically that big um, and if you probably put a regular exit sign on the floor and stood next to it it would probably come to just about your mid chin. So um, that is that is how you sync your grid up and those are just some pointers for when you're scaling some of your meshes to reflect that of uh, real life at least using the pawn the third person pawn for unreal engine 4 like i said it's 300 tall um, 300 units tall so just keep that in mind when you're you're modeling and um, 
I hope this video helped, and I'll see you guys on the next one.